Welcome to the Anheuser-Busch Fort Collins Brewery. My name is Tim Seitz. I'm the brewmaster of the Fort Collins Anheuser-Busch Brewery. I'm the sixth brewmaster in the 30-year history of the brewery. I'm very excited that you're here. As a child, I worked in a family business, and my uncle would have me run errands in his bakery to get Budweiser yeast out of the cooler for baking his bread. And it was exciting for me to tie that history of my you know, five and six-year-old family business work to being in the brewery now, working with that yeast and cultivating that for the benefit of the beer in the brewery. As the first brewmaster of the Fort Collins Brewery that's a Colorado State alum, I'm very proud to be here and working with the amazing brewers and technicians. Raw materials are absolutely critical to our process. We always want to make sure we're using the best raw materials we can source to make your Budweiser. The first raw material we want to talk about is water. We have the best water in the country. Our water is absolutely fantastic. So the beauty of the water that we have is the snow you see on the Rockies today will be the water we drink over the next 12 to 15 months. That replenishing water supply is the amazing reason we have such a fantastic beer culture and it's the number one reason why this brewery is located where it's at today. The second raw material that is absolutely critical to the body of our beer is the malt. It starts as barley and it's grown in North Dakota, Idaho and Montana. Budweiser two row malt is absolutely the highest spec malt that our maltsters can make because we demand that high quality for all of the beers that we produce. Our rice is grown by rice growers in Louisiana. We make sure that the rice comes in and it is of the highest quality. Rice provides a crispness in the back of the beer that if you had straight malt based beer, you wouldn't have the crispness. The last key ingredient for Budweiser is hops. Hops are absolutely critical to the body and the aroma of the beer. We use six different varieties of hops in Budweiser. Many people would scoff at that and say, why? Why use so many varieties when it's not a bitter beer? We do that because no matter what happens with growing seasons, we always want the flavor of Budweiser, regardless of brewery, regardless of country, regardless of anything. Every single Budweiser you taste should taste the same. Another key ingredient to brewing beer is the 14 trillion hardest working employees that we have inside of a fermenter, which are the yeast cells. Anheuser-Busch yeast, specifically Budweiser yeast, has been cultured and cultivated since Budweiser was first brewed in 1856. We have a core group of people in St. Louis and their sole mission in life is to provide the breweries with fresh Budweiser yeast to make sure the strain stays healthy, it stays pure, and the taste compounds you get from the yeast are the best they can be. The Budweiser yeast does an amazing job of providing the aromatic compounds we want when you bring up your glass and smell your Budweiser. Beechwood chips are used in our chip tank process to make sure we have separation and contact space between the yeast and the beer inside the chip tank. As the beechwood is cooked, it twists and it becomes irregularly shaped. The beauty of that shape is it gives the yeast a place to settle and the beer can flow through and it allows the secondary fermentation process to continue. 